but I will show you some of the techniques that I practiced years ago. I would practice very silently, silently, like a ninja. Like an Irish ninja. <laughs> And I would dream of the faraway places I would someday go with my magic show. Perhaps I would go to, maybe I'd visit China, where they have different coins altogether. But I did pay attention in math class. One plus one plus one equals three. Three minus one. equals two. Two plus magic equals. That was, that was incredible, Jeff. Well, thank you very much. And it's, we're not even talking about small coins here. You use big coins. Yes, I use very, very big coins. And you perform at birthday parties. Yes, that's, that's actually Donald Trump. <laughs> he wow. performed at his birthday. <laughs> G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back. My name of course is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me on this glorious and wondrous Saturday. Now today we have an absolute treat for you. You just saw the one and only Jeff McBride show us an awesome silver dollar to Chinese coin routine. Now you're not gonna learn that today. That's from his at the table lecture. Actually he's second at the table lecture. You can see which one it is card on screen right now. There'll also be a link in the description below where you can learn that routine. But today's effect is gonna take place in the same at the table lecture. Now, before we get into that routine, I do wanna tell you about this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the coin and money magic bundle, all you need to do is stick around to later on in the episode and I'll show you how to enter that giveaway. Now, this effect you're going to learn today is an excerpt of Jeff McBride's at the table lecture. This at the table lecture is like none I've ever seen before. Jeff takes you on a tour of the McBride House of Mystery, and it is incredible. Now, in today's episode, you're going to learn the Benson move and some awesome applications for it, including a really cool way to incorporate it with money. So Jeff, my friend, over to you. But I wanted to get started with a little lesson in uh, card manipulation. It's one of the moves that I use the most, and it's the Roy Benson move and I'll show you a, an application for this as well. You know, since we have the mirrors here, maybe we can use the mirrors to show yeah, the front step view. Yeah, step out of frame and I'll let you uh, take And the over, back sir. view at the same time. This is my practice mirror. That's a very large mirror, Jeff. All right. This is my practice mirror. Now with the Benson move, back palming, and I'll show you the basic uh, mechanics of it, and then I'll show you some applications for this that I, that I really like. So we have the card in back palm. Now, a lot of people try to put the card way far back and they can't uh, retrieve the card. The card wants to be about there. Can you see that in the mirror? Okay. And I hinge up and I hinge down and I'm absolutely doing nothing, but I'm doing it very well. And that's the Roy Benson move. When it comes time to produce the card, all I need to do is bend the fingers and push out. That's the simple way. If I want to be able to produce it a more advanced way, I cross my fingers and produce it at my fingertips. I'll show you that with one hand. And then you can be working on this while we're giving you the rest of the tour. For the one-handed production, I cross the fingers, just like saying, good luck. And that'll bring it to the fingertips. So the basic way, I can just bend the back fingers and pop the card forward. More advanced way, show the hands empty and produce it at the fingertips. Now I'll show you a, an application for this for everyday use. Have you seen last week's free tutorial yet? Make sure you do card on screen right now or the link is in the description. Make sure you check it out. It's an absolute feast for the eyes and it's completely free. Go treat yourself. Now I'm so sorry, Jeff. I need to interrupt for just a wee second because I want to find out who won last episode's bundle. So glasses front flip, please. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations, my friend. You're the winner of last episode's bundle. So if you could DM me on any of Murphy's socials, I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say, hey, where do I learn that glasses flip? 
it's easier than you think. Now onto this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the coin and money magic bundle, all you need to do is comment below what is your favorite takeout. Do you enjoy a good Chinese takeaway, a burrito, a burger? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in the next episode. So good luck. All right, champion, ready to check out more videos just like this one? Make sure you check out our YouTube channel where we drop new videos every single day. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe because why not? Save yourself coming back later. Here's one application for the back palm that I like to use, just changing a card to a silk. So I spend a lot of time working on the pivot. That's one of the basics of all card manipulation is the pivot. Most people use their thumb. Don't use your thumb. And that's the way it should look. My mentor, Lou Lancaster taught me how to make this with the letter C. So the card is making the letter C in the air, kind of like being traced, the letter C. So for the production, this is a good opening production. I can have a silk in my hand in the accordion pleat production. One, two, three, four six, seven, very springy. So this is a nice little opening and I'll show you a version for close up or walk around as well. Here's the card. I show the card both sides and I'm going to let that silk, I'm gonna come up and I'm going to let the silk pop up as I back palm the card. Slow motion. And that's pretty good angle. It's pretty well covered there. And I'll do it one more time Real speed. Here's the card. I can come out on stage, produce a card, show it on both sides, and change it to a silk, just like that. Now we'll use another application with money. I use this in an everyday situation where perhaps somebody delivering food, like Chinese food or a pizza will come to the house. Why not make a little magic for the person? That's my opening is the door opening. So all I have to do is get ready by back palming a card and holding out the bill. The bill is just in this position. It's not really hidden that much. It's just down by the side. And then I'm ready for the delivery. Come in. Uh, pizza's here. It took me four hours to find this place. It might be cold. There was no address, only a symbol. How much is the total there, my good man? $15, sir. $15. Well, let's see. Let's work a little magic here. That's how I make my living. You see, this is my business card, and that's how I make my money. That's a crisp $20 bill for you, and that's my card. Here you go. Keep the change. Wow. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. So uh, our little scene ends there, but this is a scenario that I'll perform at the uh, at the front door when people approach the house of mystery why not make a little magic for them instead of because you know it's kind of like that gift magic mentality of being able to use every moment to give a little gift of magic they're going to get the money anyway why not make the experience magical absolutely right? and it falls along the line of magician 24 7 too. magician 24 7 every time <laughs> and if you screw up you just shut the door <laughs> and give them some money right. you know but uh well, you know, my Chinese food lady, her name was Fan, and uh, she started coming here. She started to get real savvy. You know, she would be see. I used it as a as a uh, opportunity to do a new magic performance or a new magic item. Every time she would come to the door, I'd have to do something new. And she would start showing up with her kids and her family, you know, at the <laughs> door. Okay, Jeff, what you have for me today? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, oh, you flashed your side steel. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you know, Alan Ackerman had much better work on that. <laughs> but I'll show you some of the things that I that I use. Uh, first of all, going back to the to the to the the basic core of the trick is the back palm. And again, the production of the card, the Benson production, you can swing that out like this. Again, most of the time that I'm doing magic, well, uh, you know, welcoming portal magic at the door, uh, I'm going to be doing things that are very, fairly simple, so I can take care of the money transaction. I'll break that down one more time for the folks. Folding the bill. Show, I'll show it with the um, 
body language on this is pretty interesting. I produced the card here, and now everybody's the, looking at the card. I'm going to swing up, and the bill is going to come into position as the card is back palm. It goes right behind the shoulder. So the angle is very good on this. Sure. And now I come out here, and you're looking here at the money, and now I swing back to cover the, the edges of the bill and then produce the business card behind it and then present the whole thing as a little gift. And this is a piece that I use, I'll use it at restaurants, I'll use it at stores, I'll use it when I'm out and about, especially when I'm in a new town, traveling into a new town, to kind of create a buzz that there's a magician around. I'll use it, uh, this piece of magic to, um, to kind of charm the wait staff or the bartender or people that are working in the theater instead of just doing a business transaction, make it magical. And I have another one that I use a lot, which I'll go right into. Now, thank you so much, Jeff, you absolute legend. That was incredible. If you wanna see more of Jeff's at the table lecture, make sure you do. It's almost two hours of incredible magic and also that tour around the McBride House of Mystery. It's phenomenal. Make sure you check it out. Apart from getting a full tour of the house, you're also going to learn that silver dollar to Chinese coin routine you saw earlier on in the episode. You're also going to learn silver mirage, the salamander in spin, which is an awesome card flourish. Then you get into learning the double salamander, the interlock production, and then Jeff treats you to a performance, a gift of magic, and then an absolutely awesome technique called the squeaker technique and sponge ball routine. So if you wanna see more on this absolutely incredible at the table lecture, make sure you do. There's a link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $9.95. Now, my friend, I know you're incredibly busy, so I will let you get back to your Saturday. I'll see you on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more. Or I'll see you on Tuesday for a special episode of Stumped or on Wednesday for another What's New This Week. Now take care, my friend. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.